I mean, where's the logic in that? So you give them two million to catch criminals, but yet you you pass a bill that says it's okay to steal up to nine hundred dollars. I mean, come on now. I, I I don't understand it. It is quite insane. Don't because it's no fun when your spirit is undone. Unraveling down the hole in the barrel of a shotgun. You got to think and you're better than me. Look inside yourself and what do you see? Happy day, guys. Welcome back to another episode of Snap Up Political. Hope your day is going magnificent, guys. Hope you have really been absorbing what has been going on with my content and it's penetrating some things of change, of wanting to advocate for others and advocate for yourself. If you're finding value in the content, if you're loving the channel, please keep commenting. Come back. Give me some suggestions. It's about lifestyle, not just my lifestyle. It's about music, music performances, that would be me, and politics. So I want to raise a level of awareness, and I've already been doing that on my channel, but you already know what's going on in the world. How can we be in the day and time where it's okay to hurt people and to take people's things? And I know this has been going on for since the beginning of time, but it just seems like it is more prevalent and it is more, it is running rampant now across the U.S., especially where it's okay to hurt people it's okay to rob people and it seems like it's okay to take people's things like and it's nothing of it like like it's cool where do we get to that i mean how where when did that start and then people who defend themselves now and their property and their family they're being sued by the criminal how does this happen how does this work i can't i don't understand it good people let's check these videos out because they're short clips i want us to look at them and i want to hear what y'all got to say about this it seems like you know and i know people are going to say it's, it's been like this for no it, this this is way different because now they have laws in place that give people the right or give them the okay Okay to steal. Noon, a new smash and grab at a local boutique, and we got these new pictures showing the latest break in at a place that keeps on getting hit. And Talent 2's Courtney Francisco is live at this clothing boutique right there where the owner says thieves have broken in. Courtney, I hate to say it, five times this year. But why are they still at the same place? And she says the latest happened low. Monday Can hear morning. That? She thinks that thieves are reselling the clothes here. We took a walk down wow. the strip, talked to store and store, and the workers tell us thieves have broken into their cars this year, too. Where is Cameras this? keep catching them, but Katrina Kusar says burglars keep coming back to her store. I'm trying to wrap my head around why are you continuing to hit this store? Why are you continuing to target my store? Kusar's boutique, according to fashion, sits on this strip under apartments on Decatur Street Southeast. Mm. She said she chose this spot two years ago to help bring life to the Sweet Auburn community. I seen mm. it was growing and um, they did a lot with it. So it's a lot of traffic. I feel like it was a good area. But this spring, she says the intrusions began. The latest, Monday morning before five o'clock, she says this man broke in and started stuffing clothes in a bag. The fifth break in this year. I'm over it at this point. I'm over it. We first reported the repeat smashing grabs last month after three in two weeks. Each time, the criminals left shattered glass, broken doors, and empty shelves in their wake. Police dusted for prints. And Kusar's not alone. Police data shows there have been nearly 30 reported vehicle and building break ins here this year. It has to stop. When I saw this, I was like, I got to do this video because this is just absolutely crazy. And she has some really nice, you know, nice item pieces in her boutique. And my question is, so when do you fortify your place? Because this is costing you money. Five times? You may give me once, you may get me twice, but guaranteed you won't get me a third time, boo. And that second time, my first, first time is like, okay, let me go ahead and fortify my windows. I mean, I know you don't want to put bars up there because it takes away from the look, but if that's going to keep my place secure, it's nothing to bust open those glass. Or maybe you need to get thicker glass where it can't be penetrated. Whatever it is, an alarm system. I'm sure she probably has that, but you need more than an alarm system because, honey, five times kusar has repeatedly replaced doors locks upgraded security replaced <laughs> stolen product and refunded customers she says her insurance is dropping her at the end of the year my insurance um is not renewing i'm high risk at this point and she says she's at risk of losing her family's income and her dream somebody anybody see that's what gets me i need help that's what gets me 
And she says police are patrolling this area more, but she wants staff here at this building to replace her door. She says they say they're working on it. Reporting live in Southeast Atlanta, Courtney Francisco, Channel 2 Action News. Courtney, to have that keep happening to you over and over again is soul-sucking, and it just it's hard to even hear. Thank you very much. Okay, let's check this one out. So suspect in violent Chinatown robbery may have scoped out the store the day before. I mean, I think she might need to go through some drastic measures. I'm talking about the other lady. I mean, post up in your spot. Be there overnight when they come in and, and, and you know, hmm, with some heat and let them know you ain't playing. See if they come back after that. A brutal robbery and beat down inside a Chinatown store. Look at a that. Robber raining down blows on the helpless clerk, snatching thousands of dollars in product before fleeing, leaving the woman beaten and bloody on the floor. Eyewitness News reporter Look Tim Pulliam, live in Chinatown, hearing from frightened neighbors they catch him. and from the store's owner. And throw Tim. him under the jail. Mark, the robbery happened at Angie's Boutique here behind me. The store clerk has a black eye from this Another attack. Another boutique. Security video Look shows the moment this thief tries to rob Angie's Boutique in Chinatown. It happened Thursday in the middle of the day. The man and the clerk wow. tussle for a moment before he pushes her to the ground. He even kicks the store's dog out of the way for the goods. He kicked the dog? We showed the video to neighbors. Tell me how you feel. I, it's awful. Like that... I can't believe like broad daylight someone would go in there and do that Please. to her. That sucks, man. Like it sucks that we have to like get to that point in order to live. In yep. this angle, the robber jumps over the counter to get the merchandise. Once again, the clerk tries to stop him before he hits her. The crook gets away mm. while the clerk lays there bleeding. The thief got away with two art pieces worth five thousand dollars. Wow. We've been here for twenty years, and we've never had to deal with any kind of situations like this. But John, the store owner, late. believes the crook is the same man who was at the store yesterday, acting weird. He started holding the item like in his arm, and then he kind of tucked it away into his arm, and then turned a little bit with the door like he was about to run for the door. On this day, the thief succeeded. It's the latest in a string of retail robberies across L.A. <laughs> A Nordstrom store in Canoga Park to a jewelry store in Pasadena. This week, police arrested one of the thieves who recently stole from the Macy's store in Northridge Mall. Police say they've made nearly two dozen arrests in these latest incidents. It's a point assembly member Reggie Jones Sawyer once emphasized. In 2018, he co-sponsored AB 1065, a law that created the California Highway Patrol Retail Task Force, okay. which partners with law enforcement agencies and the Department of Justice to investigate crimes. It was so successful that Governor Newsom uh, gave us another $200 million to expand the program. He says last year the task force is credit. But then he turns around and, 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 and accepts and, and pushes a law that allows criminals to steal things up to $900. What does that make sense? That's like a, a catch 22. I mean, where's the logic in that? So you give them 2 million to catch criminals, but yet you, you pass a bill that says it's okay to steal? Up to $900? I mean, come on now. I, I, I don't understand it. It is quite insane. For recovering more than $25 million in stolen items and made 645 arrests. Those convicted facing years in state Good. or federal prison. Good. Lock them up. Get, be made accountable the maximum. And prosecuted to the full extent of the Good. law. Good. And when individuals Good. are not coming back Good. onto the street after after three years or if they Five, put three away for 20 years yes put them I away that message will start to ring true mm -hmm. and hopefully provide some relief to not only businesses but to patrons and customers as police review the surveillance video to track down the suspect at angie's boutique the store's clerk is wow. recovering from a swollen eye look at Everybody that knows her she's been around here she's super sweet oh man that's just horrible the store owner is offering a $5,000 reward for information tomorrow. State and local law enforcement will be announcing new funding to fight organized retail crime. How about you put a law in place that's going to let these criminals know they're going to be, they're going, you reverse the law that gives them the okay to steal items up to $900 for one, and you let them know that they can get a minimum of five to 10 years. Let's say 10. Yeah, I'm going to say 10. Uh, yeah, exactly. Give them a minimum of 10 years. We know they're probably not going to do it. But give them a minimum of 10 years for stealing retail, jewelry, from, from taking things that don't belong to them. Send that signal and see how they feel. Because this is absolutely unheard of. This is just 
so degrading. This is just so, I mean, these people do not represent me as a black person. Sorry, by no means. They don't represent what I stand for, what I believe, any of that. How I was brought up, what the word of God says. They don't represent me. This ain't got nothing to do with reparation. So please don't believe that and don't throw that out there. Because this that's the most stupidest thing I've ever heard. Absolutely. They ain't got nothing to do with reparations. That's called foolery. That's called low vibration. That's called your heart ain't right. And what you, you will reap what you sow. That's what that means. The word of God says that um, all that ever come, let me pull up the scripture here. All that ever came before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not hear from, did not hear them. I want to have some more. I'm going to have some more scriptures here, here coming across the screen about what the word of God talks about in, in regards to thieves. We know his word says that you live by the sword, you die by the sword. And that's exactly what they're doing. That's, that's that life. So we gonna take heed but I, i'm definitely gonna have some more scriptures coming across my screen about this because this is just oh my gosh this is just outlandish good people what do you feel about this the pool lady was hit and i mean i know she i wonder if she has a fear of going to work the business store owner in atlanta is just i mean crazy it really is i think she needs to fortify her place with some either thicker glass bulletproof glass and it may cost her a little bit you know, now she's got to find a new insurance company who thinks that she's a high risk because I can see why. And, you know, or or arm herself. How about you be in your own store at night when they come through and greet them with some heat and then see how, how they feel. Have somebody else in there with you if you need to. But no, I mean, it's time for drastic measures to be taken because look at these fools. They continuously doing the same thing. They have no regard for your life. They'll have no regard for your stuff. Please pray and take action. All right, guys. Let's raise that level of awareness. Be smart. And I'll see you in the next video. Yeah.